Hi everybody. Today our problem is to show that the rectangle of maximum area, I mean this one, that can be inscribed in a circle is a square. So let's start with first considering this PQR is a right angle triangle applying Pythagoras theorem. We get this equation x square plus y square equal to 2r whole square. We can write as this one. Now need to find the equations in such a way that we will get the value in terms of y, I mean in terms of x for y. So equation will be left hand side will be y, right hand side will be x. So we get y equal to square root of 4r square minus x square. Got it. Now let's see what will be the area of this PQRS. Because we know it will be x multiplied by y. So x already it is here. Only we have to put the value for y. And it is this one. So we got this area. Now let's move to see because it is said that maximum area maximum or minimum when terms come then it is related with first derivative and second derivatives so let's move in the next slide to see how to get those first derivative and second derivative So as I said, we need to find first derivative first to get maximum or minimum. So dA by dx equal to 0, I mean first derivative equal to 0, we have to consider that. So let's do the differentiations for this term, I mean area. And this one, it will follow the product rule. So how to get that? So product rule means if a function, it is equal to I mean differentiate a product of functions. I mean u and v are the two functions. I mean y equal to u and v. So in that case, how to get that results? Applying the product rule like this because dy by dx equal to du by dx. Then v will be as it is. Then again u will be as it is. And this will be dv by dx. Exactly same rule we have to follow for this because here also there is two function one is x another is a square root of this so two functions following this we will get like this i am not going to explain how to do the differentiation because you must know that so only the things I put the guidelines that it will be according to product rules.
now we get this step by step we have to proceed so at an end we are here simplest way we got 4r square minus 2x square so surely we can make a relations between r and x that was our target to find the equation for x so x equal to square root 2 r we got this length x doing first derivatives now let's move for doing second derivative The reason is second derivative test it gives distinguish between maximum and minimum so what to do here i have written already for the previous slides we had taken first derivative equal to zero now we have to show that second derivative less than zero i mean negative then we will be 100 percent sure area will be maximum so let's do that but here these two functions it is we have to follow quotient rule and this quotient rule it shows how to differentiate a quotient of functions quotient of functions means result obtained by dividing one quantity by another that's the quotient rule and we have to follow this u prime it is du by dx and this is dv by dx other will be as it is b u v square here also we have two function one numerator denominator so there are two functions you have to follow quotient rules exactly same way we have to put all these terms then we'll get this in the next step because if you look at you can see here this is du by dx dv by dx exactly here d by dx here d by dx and here denominator it is bottom this one v square so it is same as this so i brought the equation same equations so next step we can put like this because it is slight long because we are doing differentiations term by term say 4 r square we are doing here this one also differentiation is done separately here also we have to do and this one as it is but here also we did because this part already we put minus half because this is plus half minus of one so it will be minus half and this part inside of this need to do differentiations that is the quotient rule the way it is it is done and then it comes as this one in the next step Here this is denominator and this it will come here with this one like by LCM. So steps will be like this.
is very simple. Now it's easy to get, say, this multiplying this, this multiplying this, as well the bottom it comes 3 by 2 power. And just subtracting, we get at an end. This is the final results for second derivative. So, now we need to see, we had the value y equal to, we got a square root of 2 r we got this considering first derivative equal to 0. Now putting this value in the result of second derivative we want to see is it giving negative value or not. You can look at here it is negative so less than 0. So we are happy now both the conditions satisfied first derivative equal to 0 second derivative it is less than 0 negative. So negative means area will be maximum at x equal to square root of 2 r. We are now 100% sure because we got negative value. Second derivative, we got negative. So surely we can write confidently that y equal to, we have this one. So x means we can put this square root of 2r. Then we find this is square root of 2r. So x value and y value are same. So surely it is a square. So area will be maximum when P, Q, R, S is a square. We are now 100% sure and we are done.